Welcome back. Our Entrepreneur of the Week is one of the nation's most successful small business owners. Correspondent Shannon Lanier has the story. Caroline, this week's entrepreneur isn't only interested in being in business, but buying and putting his label on them. It looks like you guys have just about every color of the rainbow here. Why so many? Yes, we have over 300 customers. Oh, okay. And we mix our own ink, mm -hmm. so we have to have every color available to do just that. What Christopher Che does with ink, he also does with businesses creates what he needs and virtually every combination. I wanted to buy companies that were existing and that are fully established uh, with good uh, products, uh, good operational management team. And so uh, Hooven Dayton uh, met that criteria and uh, decided to buy it. That was Chase's first acquisition, an Ohio-based label and printing business that kickstarted his drive to create a commercial empire. At the time I acquired Hoven Dayton was probably ranging towards 10 million. Today Hoven Dayton is approaching 30 million in revenue. Well, when you acquired Hoven Dayton five years ago, it was already 72 years old. So what did you do differently that tripled the revenue? Hoven Dayton was primarily a local company uh, serving P&G and the lottery. Um, I saw that the value proposition that they were providing to these customers could be taken national. Since purchasing Hooven Dayton, Che acquired two other printing-related companies under the umbrella of Che International, a BE 100 company. The decision to acquire is not easy because it's got to meet a very clearly defined criteria. One of them being, what is the value proposition I'm going to take to my customers that will make a difference to allow me to grow? So what advice do you give to some of those entrepreneurs who are out there They want to start a company by buying another company but don't know where to begin? The first thing I would say is that it's not something you do by yourself. You know, you have to have the right team behind you. And secondly, you have to be able to determine why would I be able to take this company from this level to the next level. Helping this CEO get to the next level is a team that says Che's personality inspires them to work hard. There is not a stranger on the planet that he can't make friends with and get to know at a very deep level and understanding level. And part of that comes from his empathy with people and understanding them and their needs. Che had to learn to understand Americans as a survival technique when he arrived from Cameroon to attend college with just $50 in his pocket. It was very scary coming here at age 18. Very, very scary because uh, you look around and uh, uh, you don't know where to turn. At each difficult moment, I met somebody that was able to help, either financially or just advice, or just give me a winter coat or something. <laughs> so I would say that the American values help me to succeed in addition to my hard work. Hard work he now plans to utilize in his home country. My long-term goal is to open a foundation that will help encourage entrepreneurial sustainability in Africa. It is my hope that that fund will sponsor retired executives in the United States to go there and spend time and leave something behind that will be part of the legacy of minority business. Thanks, Shannon. If you know a small business owner who could be our next Entrepreneur of the Week, email us at bebr blackenterprisecom Coming up after the break, a few key points on the sipping and savoring of scotch. We'll be right back. The Entrepreneur of the Week has been brought to you by Cadillac.